what Chris Schuler means to Real Salt Lake, why the New York Red Bulls playoff push begins in the central midfield, and what the LA Galaxy can do to attack FC Dallas, coming up on MLS Now. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of MLS Now, here with MLSsoccer.com's armchair analyst, Matt Doyle. I'm Nick Fershaw, looking forward to some big headlines in MLS this weekend, and I want to start with Real Salt Lake, because they're going to miss that big center back, Chris Schuler this weekend. He sustained a facial injury last weekend against Chivas USA. Still up to seven to ten days to figure out what's really wrong. It's not just a broken nose. He could miss more time. What does that mean for ourselves? Well, it means either Carlos Salcedo, who just got called back from the Mexican U21s, or Aaron Mound steps in and tries to take Schuler's spot. They've both had some run, they've both had some good moments and some bad moments. Schuler is almost irreplaceable for this team, though, because he, he's a national team caliber center back when he's healthy. Problem is, he can't stay healthy enough. And RSL have been struggling a little bit, only seven points from their last seven games, two losses in a row. Third straight weekend, RSL's trying to lock down a postseason berth. They've missed the last two chances. They've got a favorable matchup on Saturday night, see if they can get it done. They're at home, 9.30 p.m. Eastern on MLS Live against the San Jose Earthquakes. Next up, a look at the Eastern Conference where the New York Red Bulls are at home against Toronto FC on Saturday. The Red Bulls have certainly taken some big strides to getting back to the postseason. Four one and one in their past six games and a favorable matchup against Toronto FC in part because the Red Bulls midfield has been so good lately. What have they done to get it right? Yeah, they've inserted Eric Alexander in that central midfield next to Dax McCarty and those guys have chemistry. And they have chemistry going all the way back to their days together with FC Dallas, that team mm -hmm. that made it all the way to MLS Cup in 2010. They've been really good in in large part, it's because Alexander knows that it's McCarty who calls the shots. He bases his movement when he goes forward, when he drops back to help, based upon what Dax is doing. That's a chemistry that McCarty and Tim Cahill just never were able to figure out in the central midfield. And it's worth noting, the only loss in that last six was against LA a couple weeks back. And yes, it was Cahill starting in central midfield alongside McCarty. Well, Cahill's gonna miss this game because of international duty with Australia from one midfield to the other. Toronto FC struggling right now. Their backs are against the wall, especially after a home loss against Houston Dynamo on Wednesday. And their defense is a problem, but so is where to put Michael Bradley. Yeah, I, I think they actually had it figured out a couple of weeks back when they played Bradley and Jonathan Osorio in the same central midfield together. Kyle Becker is a nice player, but he doesn't have that chemistry with Bradley, and it just hasn't worked out with them. And we've seen that repeatedly over the last mm -hmm. couple of months. When Osorio and Bradley play together, Osorio stays higher, Bradley stays a little bit deeper. It makes him more responsible positionally, and, and it's just worked. It's produced yeah. results for TFC this year. And of course, they have to finish better. I mean, we saw what happened against Houston on, on Wednesday night. Jermaine Defoe could have and maybe should have walked out of that game with two goals. Toronto FC on the outside looking in, the Red Bulls clinging to that fourth spot in the Eastern Conference postseason race. The game is Saturday night, 7 p.m. Eastern. It's the free stream of the week on MLSsoccer.com. Last but not least, a good matchup in the West on Sunday night. The FC Dallas at home against the LA Galaxy. The Galaxy come at this one a little bit short-handed. Marcelo Sarvis is suspended for yellow card accumulation. Robbie Keane is out with Ireland. And we don't know what kind of minutes we're going to see from Landon Donovan or Omar Gonzalez after U.S. international duty on Friday night. So if you're the Galaxy and Bruce Arena, how do you go at FC Dallas? What do you do? Well, I think that Donovan will probably play whistle to whistle at left midfield as he's done for the last couple of months for LA. He's only playing 30 minutes for the, uh, for the US on Friday night, which is probably a lighter workload than he would have in a normal day of training. So I don't expect him to be fatigued. Of course, Omar is a bigger question, but the Galaxy have a couple of defenders that they're pretty confident can fill in. How the, how the Galaxy will go at FC Dallas is what's really intriguing in this one because they usually run so much of what they do through Keane. With mm -hmm. him absent, I think they'll hold the ball a little deeper, try to pull the right back up, whether it's Javon Watson or Kellen Acosta or maybe Zach Lloyd slides back out over there. Whoever it is, that's been the Achilles heel for the FC Dallas defense. And that's where Landon Donovan lives. Mm -hmm. And that's a pretty good situation if you're a Galaxy fan. Dallas looking to lock down a spot in the postseason, and the LA Galaxy looking to keep pace atop the Western Conference and in that Supporters' Shield race. The game is Sunday night, 7 p.m. Eastern, on ESPN2. That does it for us. The Armchair Analyst, Matt Doyle. I'm Nick Fershaw. Enjoy the weekend in MLS.